We spent two hours with Randy Bachman, but there was one question that brought him to tears. And you'll feel it when you watch him answer this question. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Van Halen, uh, uh, someone asked me to talk to you about uh, touring with Van Halen. What was that like? That was amazing. It was a three-day weekend that turned into 10 and a half months. Uh, I had written some songs with Sammy Hagar. I heard the rumors, and one day my phone rang. I had been on a 90-day tour with BTO, just me and Turner. And uh, we were done. He was having trouble with the teenage kids. I was having trouble with my teenage Because you got a wife at home of like two or three, te four teenagers. And you know teenagers do. It's hard enough as a couple, never mind alone. And uh, my phone rings at noon on a Friday. I've gotten home Thursday night. My phone rings at noon Friday. Randy, it's Samala. Yeah? Um, would you come and open for, BT, uh, for Van Halen? I'm the new lead singer. I don't want anybody yelling. Where's Dave? I want a band that will play 30 minutes of hit song. We always have a popcorn band. You have a band that plays nothing. So everyone's buying popcorn and merch. I want to, I don't want a popcorn. I want a band to play 30 minutes of hit songs. I don't think Fred can make the tour. He's home with problems. All I want is you. Do you sing TCB? Do you sing, Let, uh, can you sing Let It Ride? Do you sing Ain't Seen Nothing Yet? Do you sing Looking Out for Number One? Can you sing American Woman? Yeah, I can sing anything. Okay, I just want you. So I went out as BTO for, with Van Halen. Uh, they said I could bring my kids. I said, I can't leave my kids for like, because the three days, like I said, God has to be 10 and a half months. I want to bring my kids for a week at a time. They said, fine. So I brought Tal for a week. He hung out with Eddie. I brought my other daughter to Seattle and stuff. They hung out with Eddie and Val. And a wonderful thing happened to me on this tour. Um, I think the World's Fair was on or some sort of world celebration. We were in Knoxville, Tennessee. And the place was sold out. And we're staying in a Holiday Inn and, or something. And the basement was all suites. And this is in the middle of the tour. Val and, and uh, Eddie are having this romance where she's coming to gig. She's still doing a TV show. He does the solo out front where he sits on stage. She comes out and adores him. It was really cool. It was really nice. And we got to know them all. It was really a family environment. And one day in Knoxville, Tennessee, my phone rings. It's like three in the morning. I pick it up like, yeah. Randolph? Nobody called me Randolph except... Yes, this is Randolph. Edward. Nobody calls him Edward. Eddie? Yes. Come downstairs to room 2AB. What? Now. I throw on his sweatshirt. I go downstairs. He's sitting out in the hall. He comes up with a little classical guitar. And he says, I just got word my best friend committed suicide. They found him in the garage with a bunch of my albums in his lap. And he's passed away. And while he's moving, I want to play music for him. Would you sit here and listen to the music? So I sit there. And on this little classical guitar, he plays the most amazing music I've ever heard in my life. Everything classical and jazz. And he's playing for his friend. And he's crying. And I'm crying. And it's very emotional. And other people are hearing the noise because we're in the hallway on the floor. And other guys are opening the door to say, what the? And they're hearing the, the reverence of the moment at the church and they sit down. This goes on for about a half an hour. I didn't have a tape recorder. All I have is my memory and the wonderful connection with Randolph and Edward. That's one of the Never most beautiful forget. stories I've ever heard in my life. Thank you. For, um, my God, thank you for sharing that. Um, uh, if you want to hear some of that, play Spanish Fly and that other thing where he's going crazy on guitar. That's what it was like for a half an hour. Stuff I would never hear again. Stuff he maybe never, ever played again. Now, keep in mind the entire interview and the link is in the bottom in the description of this video. If you want to see the whole thing, it's on our sister channel, Rock History Book. It's also going to be a podcast and the links are in the description as well. Make sure you comment on our videos. You know, we read all the comments. Subscribe to our channel. It's so important to us. And of course, spread the word. Let people know and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Take good care of yourself.